Crime reporter Olivia Jenkins of the Herald Sun has reported that underworld figures in Victoria are suspected of breathing new life into a notorious criminal gang, infamous for its bloody conflicts on the streets of Sydney. According to reports, the notorious Brothers for Life Gang, or BFL, a Sydney-based Middle Eastern crime syndicate formed in prison by their leader Bassam Hamzi, is being revitalized and rebranded. Authorities first became aware of the BFL in May of 2007, when details of the gang were uncovered in handwritten notes found in Lithgow Prison, where its founder Bassam Hamzi was serving a sentence for murder. The gang originated in the Bankstown Greenacre area as a loose association with several other gangs. As time passed, Brothers for Life gained public attention primarily due to internal disputes between the Lebanese-Australian Bankstown chapter and the Afghan-Australian Blacktown chapter. These internal conflicts resulted in a series of shootings in October 2012 and February 2014, claiming the lives of two members. However, the gang was dismantled, and its reign of terror came to a halt around 10 years ago when the New South Wales Police, after extensive convictions and fatalities among its ranks, declared the gang extinct. Details have now emerged that Little Crazy Hamzi, also known as Muhammad Hamzi, is in the process of regrouping and rallying its members to reignite the gang's activities. Brothers for Life member and notorious racketeer Muhammad Hamzi was set free after serving nearly eight years in jail. Aged 38 and a prominent figure of the infamous Hamzi clan, was released on Tuesday 20th of June 2023 from Macquarie Correctional Center in Sydney. Fearing attacks and keeping security in mind, Police took precautionary measures and provided him a special escort while his brother Khaled was among the family members who came to receive him. He was released on parole amidst widespread rumors and speculations that some rival gang has offered a significant sum of $2 million for killing him. LC was incarcerated in 2016, for eight and a half years, when jury found him not guilty of murder, but guilty of manslaughter. He shot a rival gangster Yaya Amut in Greenacre on October 14, 2012 and told the court that, that it was an accident and that he had offered victims widow financial support in the aftermath. However, since his release, as anticipated, it is now believed that LC is back in the community and possibly back to his old ways, potentially reverting to his criminal activities. A photograph has now emerged of LC and Sam the Punisher Abdul Rahim, a former Mongols bikey and well-known boxer, posing alongside a pool during what seems to be a recent lavish vacation. Reporter suggests that Sam Abdul Rahim is considered to be one of the main players involved in the speculated resurrection of this notorious gang and is believed to have a significant role in its potential revival. Despite reports of murder contracts being issued against Hamzi and Sam, it is believed that Sam is designated to lead operations in Victoria. It is understood that several former senior members from Sydney maintain close ties with emerging members currently residing in Victoria. Prior to the emergence of the photo featuring Hamzi and Sam, it was believed that Hamzi was maintaining a low profile overseas following his release, despite initial concerns that he would seek revenge for the alleged murders of five of his relatives while he was incarcerated. Gang's resurgence involves recruiting members from different cities, including Melbourne, Sydney, and Adelaide. These recruits are believed to have backgrounds in organized crime, particularly in the realm of bikey gangs and Middle Eastern criminal networks. The revival effort is facilitated by connections between former senior members of the gang in Sydney and newer members based in Victoria. These established relationships are crucial for the coordination and expansion of the gang's activities into new territories. Hamzi earned the nickname Little Crazy for his fiery temper and penchant for violence. While he was incarcerated, the Hamzi family's grip on Sydney streets weakened, coinciding with an escalation in violence. During this time, the Alamedine crime clan and the Comanchero MC emerged as dominant forces, seemingly consolidating their hold over the city's underworld. Despite their distinct modes of operation, they functioned as a cohesive unit, working towards a shared objective centered around drugs, wealth, and criminal activity. Meanwhile, Abdul Rahim has remained a prominent figure with strong links to the underworld in Victoria. After the brazen drive-by shooting, that left him with eight bullet wounds to his chest as he left his cousin's funeral in 2022, four businesses connected to him have gone up in flames in attacks which were linked to the war over Victoria's illicit tobacco trade. As per the reports, both Sam and Hamzi are now unified in their stance against a common adversary. Hamzi's have long list of enemies waiting for revenge attacks, this includes their arch-rivals and bloodthirsty the Alamedine clan, 
Not so powerful but still dangerous the Comancheros and the ever-expanding 81s or the Hells Angels. Besides these there are other crime Middle Eastern families like the Ahmads, and the Elmires who are well established and have been involved in various conflicts in the PA, and it is believed these enemies are also common for Sam who operates mostly undercover. While the story signals a troubling development in the Australian underworld, with reports indicating a coordinated effort to reignite criminal activities, law enforcement faces a daunting challenge in maintaining public safety. The interplay of rivalries among established crime families and the emergence of new alliances underscores the complexity of the situation. As authorities navigate these intricate dynamics, it becomes imperative to address the root causes fueling such criminal enterprises while employing robust measures to dismantle their operations. It will be interesting to see how alliances play out, and who gains the upper hand. Whatever the case, we will keep you posted. If you're looking for more exciting and eye-catching regular bikey updates, don't hesitate, smash that subscribe button, spread the word rapidly, hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and for the true grid Spartans out there, consider sending a super thanks to show some love. It goes a long way in keeping us motivated and the channel thriving, as most of the videos on this channel are not monetized due to its crime-related content. Stay tuned, stay curious, stay awesome and take care. Wu-Tang